Diana J. Gabaldon was born on 11 January 1952 in Arizona. She holds a degree in zoology, a master in marine biology, a PhD in ecology. She received also an honorary degree in humanities. Full-time assistant professor, devoting herself to research, was an expert in numerical analysis and database, and held courses in anatomy and other subjects. In the mid of 18, Gabaldon wrote articles and reviews for computer magazine Nationwide. After the publication of her bo first book, she dismissed from his position at Arizona State University to become a full-time writer. Her first book in the series of Outlander novels is Outlander. The novel deals with the theme of the Jacobite uprising of 1745 and the Battle of Culloden of 1746. Claire, having all or some information about the historical events of the battle since her first husband, Frank Randall, is a historian, tries to prevent the defeat of the clan which includes Jamie, an ally of Prince Charles, not by choice. The Jacobite insurrection of 1745 affected the territory of Great Britain between 1745 and 1746. It was the last episode of the Jacobite uprisings, as well as the last attempt to bring the House of the Stuarts to the throne of the Kingdom of Great Britain of the 18th century in favor of the House of the Hanover. Inverness, 1945. Former 27-year-old military nurse Claire Beecham is spending a second honeymoon with her husband Frank Randall historian of the University of Oxford and former officer of the British Army after the Second World War kept them apart for six of the eight years of their marriage. During a solo walk in the countryside around Inverness, Claire finds herself on the hill of Craig Nadun, on which stands an ancient circle of Druidic stones. Approaching one of the stones, the woman is magically transported backwards in time until she finds herself on the same hill but in 1743. Dazed and still unaware of the time she finds herself, Claire runs into Jonathan Randall, a ruthless British army captain and her husband Frank Ancestor, in pursuit of a group of Scottish island bandits. Kidnapped by one of these bandits, who steers Randall while trying to use violence, she is taken to the cottage where the whole group has taken refuge. Here she meets the young James Fraser, called Jamie, winded in the shoulder during a clash with the British, and she cures him. Spilled for a French widow, Claire is taken to the castle of Leoc, residence of the Mackenzie clan, waiting to find out if she had told the truth. Constantly guarded and unable to escape to try to return in her time, Claire becomes the new community doctor, until Dagon Mackenzie, brother of the chief column, asks her to join him and his nephew, Jamie, on the journey through all the territories of the clan to his tenants. One of the stages of the trip will be Fort Williams, where an English captain will help Claire get in touch with the French relatives. Arriving at the fort, Claire finds herself in front of Randall, who, believing her as spy, to beat Ma her to a summary interrogation, during which, however, he cannot get any information about the person for whom she works. When Randall summons Claire for a more in-depth questioning, Dagot forces her to become Scottish, and therefore untouchable, by marrying Jamie, of whom, in time, Claire's fall in love reciprocated. One day, while Jamie is absent, Claire is accused of witchcraft, imprisoned and tried, but the man comes to her defense and saves her from the stake. This fact brings Claire to tell him the whole truth, and Jamie accompanies her to Creek Nadum. Claire notes that the transition to the present still exists, but decided to stay with Jamie. The two reach Lallybrook, the land of the Fraser clan, of whom Jamie is the boss, and continue their married life together with his sister, Jenny, and her husband, Ian, and their children. However, Jamie is wanted by the English Crown for several crimes and just days after the birth of Margaret Helen, Jenny Hayen's second child, is captured and jailed in Wentworth Prison, a within the death sentence. In an attempt to free him, Claire sneaks into the prison, but it is discovered by Randall. In exchange for Claire's freedom, Jamie promises the captain to submit to this torture, and the woman is let go, reuniting with the rest of the Mackenzie clan. 
the clan men, however, managed to penetrate the prison, kill Randall, free Jamie and flee with Claire on the channel to the French Abbey of saint anne de Beauvray. Here Jamie gets sick because of the torture, but succeeds to save herself and with the arrival of 1744, Claire announces to be pregnant. This book manages to tell in the smallest detail an emotion, a character, a personality. Writing manages to touch you, puts you in a sort of empathy able to get excited and upset, as if that episode of the book also touched you in the first person, thanks to the talent of the writer to make everything so vivid and detailed. It is an encyclopedic book because the writer has relied on experts from different fields, including medicine, botany, and jurisprudence. After reading the book, we are not at all disappointed by the television series. Indeed, we are faced with characters that fully reflect the physical and character description of the book. This series, moreover, is much more expressive as regards the jokes, thanks above all to the meme and use of slang terms. The change of register makes it exhilarating. The men of the Scottish clans are fighters without a real education, rough and scurrilous and I found fun the contrast between them, ignorant suits and the protagonists, who are intellectual. Despite this, it is interesting to find out how one can learn from others. Many characters are interesting, but the main characters, Jamie and Claire, are those around which the whole story revolves. Jamie is brave, strong, attractive and romantic. He, is, he has a size on its head so it is sought after by the British army and by those who want to make fortune by handing it over to the authorities. This makes their series of novels even more compelling, because the protagonists are forced to travel from country to country to escape the dangers. Claire is tenacious, curious and cultured, although she often curses by uttering words that the Scottish Highlanders of that time do not even know. Moreover, being the woman at that time still inferior, it is strange for you that you speak in that way, and even more that gives order to men. At the beginning she is seen as a spy for, the, for her English accent, but then in time she is loved by everyone, also for her usefulness as a healer. It's a fascinating novel and I really appreciated the ironic notes of some characters that gives the book a particular side. I like this novel because it contains all the genres I they prefer, adventure, passion and fantasy, and the author's meticulous writing only makes the book even more engaging, sinking into the atmosphere of the time, as if I were a Scottish Charlander too. I think it's the bestseller because first of all it's a unique original story. I read a lot of books and I have to say that sometimes while I'm reading I happen to have a deja vu, as if I had already read something similar, as if the idea had been taken from another book. Well, with this book nothing of this happens. Sometimes we open a book because we like reading, because we want to lose ourselves in something that is not our reality. And this novel makes you travel with them over time and then return to your life when you close it. As soon as you reopen it, however, you are in another historical period, with new characters and different countries. It's a bit like a portal, take step and you do not know where you find the next second. What makes me think more in the book is the difference between two times so different technological and advanced and the other primitive and backward. It would be really hard to have to choose in which era to live, if you really had the chance. Yet Claire has not the slightest doubt. I stop for a moment to think about what I will do, and being very curious I would like to have the chance to take a trip into the past, especially in suggesting breathtaking landscapes like the Scots dotted with wonderful castles.